Aloha everyone. I am Lane Davy, also known as Lane Ski, and I will be your English 100 instructor for this semester. So this is a first year writing and composition course. It's required for all students to help you with your college coursework and papers. For many of you, this class will simply be review. And for others of you, you'll encounter writing formats or styles that you're not so familiar with. So I've created a curriculum that basically allows you to go at your own pace, challenge yourself as much or as little as you want to in this class. Um, and, um, you know, of course, we're all good writers. Everyone who comes to college is a good writer. They don't let you in if you're not a good writer. Um, but we're all specialized and we're all um, good at different forms of writing. Some, some of us are creative writers. Others of us are documenters. And um, myself, my background is journalism. Um, other people like to do research focused writing. So in this class, we'll experiment with all of those, but also question if writing should be limited to words on a page or if it could be expanded to something such as video or animation or other forms of art in this current digital age. So I am a lecturer here at UH working on my PhD. I have a dissertation titled Intelligent Movement, which uh, thinks about he'e nalu or surfing and the five elements of hip hop as a form of reading and writing. So I teach hip hop and surfing themed literature and creative writing courses. I surf professionally on the, the tour in the late 90s until about 2010 and actually worked as a journalist while I was traveling on the professional surf tour and selling my clothing company called Us Girls. Um, so I think you'll see how um, He'enalu and hip hop inform my teaching and my writing. I also have two master's degrees in, in religion. So I teach Old and New Testament and world religions. So that was my introduction. And your assignment for this week will be to write a short introduction of your own in the Laulima discussion forum which is where you'll be submitting the majority of your daily assignments for the semester. So here we are on Lao Lima. Yours will look a little different than mine. This is the teacher version. Um, but you'll be doing your introduction this week and that will be under the daily assignments and discussion post tab here. You click on that, click on class discussions, and then you'll see it under here, introduction. And there it is. So there's my intro. And so what you'll do is you just go right down here and press post reply. So the most important thing you will need for this class is the syllabus and the schedule. So the way these things work is you go up to this little top part and you click on that and that refreshes the view. Um, and then you can click on the schedule, which is here. And you can see that um, everything you need for this course is right here on the schedule. So if you just go through this daily, you will be able to access everything you need for the course, all the assignments, all the materials, it's all linked right here. So anything you see with the underline is a link that will open up the window for you. So for example, you know, this is today, you click on the syllabus, you can click on the intro video and it will pop up. Um, you're supposed to read through the major assignments, um, watch, and then here it is. So that's all you have to really do for the week is, I mean, assignment wise is this introduction, but it's right here. You just look at the schedule. Okay, I got to complete that assignment. It takes you directly there. And then you do the assignment. Uh, my email's here. And um, all the assignments 
are while they're listed daily they're always due on friday so you can either do it every day or you can do it all in one sitting so long as it's in um, by Friday at 9 a.m. And I try to grade them, you know, over the weekend and post a response. So what I plan to do is send you guys a remind, reminder every Thursday, you know, about what's due on Friday and then a response on Monday. Now all the major, um, major assignments and the minor assignments are due on Mondays and you'll see those in red here. Um, so you can see here, you know, you turn in your assignment and then here's the daily assignments for this week, all the materials, it's all right there. So just know that this is the key to your success, the schedule. Um, so this is what you'll be doing next week. There's three basic sections of the course. Um, you will have uh, creating your personal website and you'll have about three weeks to do that so it should be fairly easy for you and then we'll uh, create a research paper uh, and, and transform that into an op-ed which is a popular paper then finally we will do uh, an aesthetic presentation at the end of the class so you'll take that formal research paper, turn it into a popular article that you might publish in a, you know, in some type of publication. And then you'll create some type of aesthetic uh, representation of that. And that's the last portion of our course. Now the major assignments are here. Uh, this is the one you'll be doing next week. It's also explained in the syllabus, but you'll need to read the prompt as well. Um, your research paper, your aesthetic presentation, and some extra credit. So um, the research paper, so this is the first portion. The research paper is the second portion of the course. And the minor assignments, is what help will help you to form your research paper. So basically, this how this will work is you know you're going to create this web website, you're going to create create a blog, and you will probably you might use that same topic for your blog as an issue that you will argue in your research paper. So first you'll do a, a pitch that you would do for an op-ed and you'll find out what that is. And um, then you'll uh, use that to form like a, your introduction for your research paper. Uh, the resource one is one of the resources. The resource two and three is two other resources. Uh, the annotated bib is your work cited, which is, you know, all these sources. And then um, you'll form your research paper from all these assignments. That'll be a 2000 word paper, a formal paper, an academic paper that you will then turn into a popular op ed or an opinion piece for a publication that you would like to write in. Now, that assignment is in the daily assignment. So if you go down here and you see, um, you know, you're, you can access this again from the schedule. This is a daily assignment. And this will tell you, you're going to go in there, you're going to pick three uh, publications that you enjoy reading or getting your news or from. And then you're going to review those. So for now, just know that, you know, these things all go together. And so now we want to get back and look at the syllabus for the course. So we press up there. And the syllabus, you need to read through the whole syllabus. Uh, the syllabus, not just for this course, but for every course is like your contract. You know, when you read through that, you're basically saying, yep, I'm good. I can do all of that. 
Here's my email. Anytime, email me. I usually check my emails throughout the day after about 9 or 10 o'clock. I'm checking emails. So I should be able to get back to you pretty easy. If you need to speak with me, we can Zoom or Skype or any, any way you want to do it. Um, I may have a couple Zoom meetings that are optional because this is an asynchronous class, which means we don't meet at any specific time. But I might hold a Zoom, couple Zoom meetings just so people can ask questions and sort of see each other um, before we start uh, doing our discussion posts so we get an idea who we are. Um, I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then here are your assignments. So daily assignments make up 50 points out of 100. That's half the class. Uh, there's five points extra credit, so it means you can get away with not doing a couple of them maybe and still have 100%. Uh, they range from one to three points, but they're usually about three points. Uh, and um, the minor assignments are 20 points and they help to make up the major assignments. Uh, and then here's the major assignments. They're worth 40 points. So should be pretty easy for you to figure out your score most of the time. Um, so uh, daily assignments, I really don't accept late. Uh, minor assignments and major assignments. Basically, you know, you'll get deducted 0.5 every time it's late, every day after it's late, unless you have, you know, a reason for not being able to meet the deadline, I'm happy to you know extend it for you if you need to. Just let me know and let me know when you think you can finish it. And then if you don't get it in on time, you always have to email it to me uh, because the, the form will either close or I will have already graded the assignment. So I won't go back in there and, and see it. Um, so yeah, I mean, if something's going on, even if it's just, you know, I have five classes and we all had a test on Friday, so can I please turn in that assignment on Monday or can I have another week? Just let me know. Just don't be a flake, you know. Um, some, some of your documents you'll submit right there in the discussion forum or the assignment forum, but uh, major assignments you should post as a dot PDF. Please do not send me a Google Doc. Um, and, you know, use Grammarly to proof your work. Here is my grading scale. I'm a fairly easy grader. Um, main thing, you just do the assignment. You'll do well. Do the assignments and follow the guidelines for the assignment. And you'll do well. Um, so you can read the rest of this. You know, let's be respectful in the discussion post. And you know, a lot of these are in your other classes. Uh, all of these, you know, statements. So make sure you read through all of those at least once. But if you see, you know, each syllabus has the same thing, you've already read it, and that's okay. Um, here's some resources. You can also find that in the resources folder here. Um, so those are just some of the things we'll be using for the class. And they are also attached to that schedule for the most part. Um, you should be able to access the video lectures here. And, you know, some of them, you will actually need to watch the video just to do the assignments. Others are explaining the assignments, like this one is an overview, but you know, you need to get an idea of the assignment, you, you know, the video lectures, reading the prompt. And, you know, if I say something in one of the videos to like, don't do this in your assignment and then you do it, <laughs> it shows me that you didn't watch the lecture and you you're simply didn't read the assignment. And so you're gonna get deductions for that. 
So, you know, that's really a part of what you're doing here in college is you can't just like go write whatever you want. You were trying to gain certain skills and that is the point of these prompts. I know when I first came to college, I just kind of wanted to write whatever I want because I was a writer and, and the teachers are like, but that wasn't the assignment, you know? So make sure you read through the assignments, which can sometimes be quite, you know, comprehensive and, and it can be frustrating, but just, just do it. And email me if you have any questions. Um, the grade book is where you can look at your grades. Lao Lima isn't always exactly correct on the score, but you can get your scores there and add it up. Um, you can, and then here's a series of things that we'll also be using throughout the course. Um, but they also should be linked to that schedule. Okay, I think that's all for now. So I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Ahui ho!